Could this be the dirtiest Gran Turismo 7 race ever? Well, technically, the answer's no. In fact, those penalties aren't even really their fault. And I'm just about to show you why. And all that chaos is because of him. Well, that's a little unfair really because I'm guessing he didn't do it on purpose. In fact, the only thing he did do was disconnect. The trouble is, once that happened, Gran Turismo just went, oh, I don't know what to do. And everything just went to chaos. Now, if we take a quick look at the track map, you can see that almost everybody's completed the start finish rate. In fact, we've all gone round the first hairpin and yet everybody is still in warm-up lap mode and this, well, kind of confused the hell out of everybody. But despite the fact this really is a quite appalling glitch, most of us were managing to have a little bit of fun in the chat at the game's expense. And even I tried to say something, well, at least slightly amusing. But this next shot coming up is possibly my most favourite in all I've taken in Gran Turismo 7. Because possibly never again will you see a warm up lap going across the bridge in Grand Valley Highway. This is definitely one I'm keeping in the archives. I like it. But eventually, the guy who was stuck started to move, kind of, and we could actually get some racing done. Again, kind of. You see, what started off as a confusing race, now turned into absolute chaos. And it wasn't just the guys at the front that were struggling, although they were definitely having troubles of their own. It's the guys in the middle of the pack me for example, where it's almost as if we'd all forgotten how to drive. And the penalties were piling on fast for everybody. But as I said in the intro, it wasn't our fault. No, honestly, it wasn't. Watch. You see, the reason everybody appeared to be driving like complete Muppets is because we were all driving in cinematic camera mode. Not follow cam, not dash cam, not bonnet cam. We were trying to drive the cars looking from the cameras at the side and above the track. And I'm telling you now, that wasn't easy. And it wasn't just driving from your unusual camera view that was bad. Some of us had to drive while ghosted as well. And that certainly wasn't easy, either. But, despite everything that had gone wrong so far, we did eventually manage to get, well, a couple of laps racing in. And once we did get some racing in, it wasn't half bad. In fact, it was some fun. Well, most of the time. And from this point onwards, things were kind of back to normal. Although, I'll admit, how the hell he got away with that? and didn't get a penalty, but I guess that's for another video. Anyway, if you'd enjoyed this video, please consider hitting those like and subscribe buttons. It does help out the channel a hell of a lot, and I will see you guys in my next video. For more great videos like this one, follow this link. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.